Catholic Extension's founder, Father Francis Clement Kelly, not only spelled out a missionary vision for the church in the United States, he made it happen. Francis Kelly founded the Extension Society based on his experience in Lapeer, Michigan. He was assigned to a rural parish and he described a, a dry goods box with a cross. This is how he described the church that he had in Lapeer. In his first few months after being ordained and sort of trying to figure out how to make this work, he conceived this idea of the Extension Society. So this really foundational idea is Kelly's legacy. Father Kelly came at, I think, the right time in history. He saw the United States as this vast continent that was still, in many ways, unpopulated. And he said, this is in the truest sense of the word, mission territory. Writing was one of his greatest talents. He had a kind of drama about the way that he wrote to really provoke American Catholics. He was not trying to reel them in slowly. He wanted to shock them. He wanted to really say, this is our responsibility. And he really made American Catholics responsible for sustaining the Catholic Church, not just in their local parishes, but recognizing the ways that, again, these far off lands, these far off communities, even in the United States, need you. By 1910, just a few years into the society's existence, Extension Magazine had a greater circulation than National Geographic and the Atlantic Monthly combined. The image that stays in my mind is that of a rail car that used to serve as a chapel. And they would ride these rails, you know, back around the turn of the 20th century to these areas of the country that had, you know, very few Catholics and, and, and very little money. But it was to be a presence. And, and it's such a striking image because there, there simply was no physical place where the church was, was being iterated. And so these rail cars for me are just a symbol of that. And then over the years, of course, Catholic Extension started building churches. So I think Catholics even then recognized there's something remarkable about envisioning that Christ himself wants to be present to people across the country um, and, and across the many different ethnic and racial uh, and cultural uh, divisions that even existed back then. So in many ways, he was a very pioneering thinker in the church, both in the literal sense of going to pioneering territory, but also in the theological sense of recognizing that our baptismal call was, was moving us into, as it were, uncharted territory. Remaking the American West as Catholic territory was one of Kelly's important claims, was to say that we have been here for centuries. American Catholics have a history here, and it predates Plymouth Rock. In these Catholic borderlands, there is a layering of a Spanish Catholic past with a U.S. Catholic presence. And Kelly really used that to give American Catholics a sense of ownership, really embracing that legacy was critical to establishing Catholicism as inherently American. Many people understand the church in terms of what it looks like in big cities. And what Catholic Extension reminds us of is that while those may be population centers for the church, there are many, many others that don't fit that narrative. I think that Catholic Extension is a critical agent in the unfolding of the story of American Catholicism in the 21st century. We are at our best as a people, as a church, when we are missionary. Francis Clement Kelly worked to awaken this missionary spirit 
and all American Catholics, and he called all of us to take responsibility for the future of the Catholic Church in our country.